What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be taking one of my clients through a coaching call, a Facebook ad coaching call um, that we have scheduled here in a couple minutes. And we're going to be, I'm going to be walking them through an actual Facebook conversion ad. Um, real estate agent, very successful real estate company in New York. One of my clients, shout out to the, Dina, the, Dina, the, the Danielle Reese team. Let me get that right. It's a tongue twister, but they crush it in New York, you guys. So if you guys are out there in that in that on that East Coast side of, of the country or or even part of the world, yeah, the Danielle Reese team, they they definitely kick butt out there. Real estate listings, open houses, selling buyers, all the above, foreclosures, short sales. They focus on everything. So today, what we're going to be doing for the last I would say maybe a couple of weeks we've been we've been we've been putting together their landing pages and their email automation. So that's so so important, man. When it comes to when it comes to capturing leads, whether it's Facebook ad, Instagram ad, YouTube ad, TikTok, LinkedIn, whatever. If you're driving traffic, it it that traffic that click needs to be going to a landing page where you're giving yourself the opportunity and and them to obviously opt in, right? You're giving yourself the opportunity opportunity to actually capture a lead. It must be a landing page. Once you once you capture that lead on the back end, that lead needs to be nurtured, right? Emails need to be going out to them. And you want to be able to automate that. You're, you're not sending emails from your Gmail or Hotmail account, right? You're actually sending them through your email automation. You're, you're nurturing a list of leads, a, 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 a group of leads. You're, you're, you're nurturing a, a group of people, you know, down a path and you're, you're keeping that communication alive, right? That's nurturing a lead, communicating, building the relationship um, um, and, and really building that tribe, right? On the back end, that's email automation. And depending on what type of business you're in with, with, with the Danielle Reese team, I'm going to be working with her assistant right now, Mike, shout out to Mike. Um, and so I'm taking them through the landing pages. I'm taking them through the Facebook ads. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. But, but him out there, you know, um, real estate being in the, in the, in the business of appointments, that's when an online calendar, you know, can come handy. So a lot of you guys probably use Calendly, some use schedule once there's many different online calendar softwares out there, but I use, I use Kartra. So Kartra is the one software for all that, that, that I've been on since 2018, building an online business, landing pages, email automation, um, my online calendar, my membership, you know, a uh, uh, site for for hosting my membership course. If you're into digital products and selling information, my affiliate marketing. So much stuff is done through this one platform. So if you're into online marketing or if you're looking into into landing pages or any of this stuff, there's a 14 day trial in the description. Profitwithkartra.online. Activate a 14 day trial and I will give you my time for free and really help you get off to a fast start with it. Okay, so um. What I want to do is I want to bring on Mike. I got a call with him. I'm going to be taking him through an actual Facebook conversion ad. So we've been focused on landing pages, getting his pages all up and going through Kartra, right? Profit with Kartra.online. But now it's time for us to really blow up. Now it's time for us to start running conversion ads, um, getting people to opt in. And, and, and in today's training call, we're going to be running traffic to his to his open house funnel to get people to opt in for an open house that they have coming up in New York this weekend. All right. So we're going to go step-by-step step, you guys through a conversion ad. Hold on one second. Let me grab Mike. To... Let's go to, um, let, let's go to custom audiences. So we want to leave up the thank you, the opt-in page, the landing page and the thank you page. Okay. And then we just want to go, go back to, I think those tabs are already open at the top. Oh, uh, see if those, so... This is Kartra. This is Kartra. Okay. So what are those other two tabs? You have two Bryant. Yeah, that's the landing page. And then you have the um the um thank you page. Yeah, the thank you page. Why are the icons different? I don't I don't know. Yeah, see, I, so you I didn't change the link. Now now you have a different link. So go to the thank you page. Yeah, get coder link. Yeah, right here. Get coder link. We just changed out the link. So that's why. So now get the page link. Copy this one. Actually, no, 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 no. That's what it is. So hit the edit. Hit the edit. No, the, the pencil. Yeah, go back. No, not that one. Not not no cancel. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Hit the three dots and go to co get code. Okay, yeah. So from over here, hit the pencil, and then change out the link. So the links need to be the domain, the custom domain. So it be the It can be that. One. What's the other one? Look at the top, the landing page, the tab that's already open. Uh, what's, what's that one? That one's seller guide. Yeah, that's around the seller guide. So 
do this one around. Okay, so now go ahead and Can hit change the check it around mark. the buyer guide then? No, no, it has to be the same, whatever. Okay. Yeah, we want to follow the same, same one. So copy that, copy that link, open that in a new tab. Okay, perfect. So now we have these two pages. We're going to build custom audiences around these two pages. Okay, before we actually set up the ad. So um, that's what's so, so important. Now, up here at the top, do you have, you don't have the Facebook, I could have swore you're in a different browser. That's actually, or you're on your computer. You're either I'm in a different my... browser or you're on your computer. I can switch over to the Yelp though. No, it's all good. You can just download it from here. Open up a new tab and, and go to Google or go to, you could search the web here if you want or Google, but um, yeah, right here. Type in Facebook pixel helper. Facebook, right? Yeah, it's that drop down right there. Perfect. Install this real quick. Facebook, that top one. And this is free. It's a plugin. It'll just sit here at the top um, right of your screen. It'll just sit there in the in the um, in the actual plugin. Right, but, but do you already have it? You might already have it. So it might already be up there. Click on that. Um, no, that's bookmark. Yeah, click on that one. Click on that one. Yeah. So you just probably have it hidden. Click on manage. It's probably. Yeah. So this is this is all part of testing, right? So. I thought we tested it, but but yeah, we didn't. We tested the emails, may have, might have tested the editing of the pages, but yeah, this part we need to we need to make sure it's required. So settings to the left, and then um, and then go to the very. You're gonna see tracking code, and then go to the very bottom. Yeah, see, there's no pixel there. So let's open up a new tab. Leave this tab here. Open up a new tab. Let's go to the let's go to um to events manager. Where's your your um? Do you have a? Uh, I don't know if you have done. it. I think we have um, we have a video of this ready for because it sounds familiar. It's on Danielle's um, the pixel, yeah, the pixel. But um, so yeah, for, so I think we bookmarked everything on her computer, right? Yeah, because I don't think yeah. you have all the bookmarks. So okay. from here, just go to Facebook. Just go to Facebook.com, and we can we can get there from here from there. Awesome. So, and most of the websites too, they're all standard. You know, um, when, when it comes to the pixel. Some websites will want the whole entire Facebook pixel code, which is what you're, paste, you're pasting in is the entire pixel code. And then some websites will only ask for the number. Got it. Um, so, so keep that in mind. And I'll show you where the number is at. Save progress, publish live, and then, um, and then return a dashboard. But actually get this link, get this link, and then open it up in a new tab. Or you have the tab open at the top, actually. You can just refresh that page, if anything. So yeah, so refresh this one and boom, there is the pixel helper. So so installing the pixel, that that's first and, and foremost. That was the most important. Now let's go back to the ad manager. Um, and now let's click on the three lines and go to three lines to the left and go to audiences. We're going to go to um, audiences and set up custom audiences. So this is right here, super, super important, man. We're going to create two different audiences. One audience and these, yeah, we did it on the other one. So yeah, now we have an open house one. Okay, cool. So custom audience right there. Now we're gonna we're gonna do website. So these are gonna be two different custom audiences. One will be, and they're gonna both be websites. So next. Okay, perfect. So this is gonna be an audience of people who clicked on the ad, landed on the landing page, but never opted in. They never opted in. They're only web page visitors. They have not opted in yet. So what you're going to do is um, right below the green dot, you're going to, you see e events, click on that drop down and go to specific, specific. We're going to give Facebook a very specific link to track all this. So right there in the box, you're going to go to the landing page. So go to the, the landing page, grab that link. You're going to grab everything of the domain except for the HTTPS and the WWW. Actually, I'm so sorry. Everything. Yeah. From, from right there, where you're at all the way oh. to open house, all the way to open house 28 Bryant or, or two Bryant or whatever the hell. I got it. Yeah. You don't need that last part. Yeah. Just that part, just the actual root domain. That's what that is. So you paste that in there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to be very specific here. This is a very, very, very important audience. So what we're going to also do is grab the link for the thank you page. So go to the thank you page. See you Saturday, go to that tab or that, that, yeah, go to that, this one and and grab everything as well except for that www okay perfect and then just no not there not there oh. not there yeah not there um you're gonna you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on exclude people right there exclude people so what we're telling facebook it's people who landed over there but never landed over here 
which is the thank you page, which is schedule your call now or yeah, schedule your call now. Okay. Sorry, no, but I need to take. Yeah, take that part out. So it's only, yeah, it's only the domain. No, actually you can leave that back part, but yeah, that part, yeah, that's the full, that's the full, double click it, highlight it, just, just test it and open it up in a new tab. Copy it, open it up in a new tab. Yeah, just test it real quick. Cause you only need, yeah, you only need the domain. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So this is a thank you page. This is, um, this is the audience. This is telling people, okay. And so now let's name it. So that's the link that's you're fine there. Let's, let's scroll down and, and give it a name. And the audience name is very, very straightforward. It's, it's, it's open house, open house page visitors, open house page visitors, and then in parentheses only open house page visitors in parentheses only they've never opted in. So this right here, man, could be an, a, a good audience that you start to build, you know, over time, this could be anyone who clicks on an ad and they land here, but they don't opt in, show them the next ad. You know, next time you guys have an open house, this will be an audience of, of, of those that you captured from this previous ad, right? Next time you run another open house, target these people. Because there are people that saw the first open house maybe last month or two months ago or whatever, um, but they never opted in, show them another ad on another open house down the line. You know what I mean? Um, so this right here becomes a warm audience, people who visit your webpage and change the 30 days at the top, change that to um, go, go 90 days, go 90 days, turn the 30 to 90, 30 to 90 up there. And then um, scroll, scroll down. No, actually go back up. Yeah. Go back up, change the top one to 90 as well. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. And then just create audience. That's it. So this will be a, a good warm audience hit done that you can retarget and show another listing ad to show another open house ad to. Um, that's a powerful warm audience that we always use for retargeting. Click the button again, blue button, create audience. Do We're going to do another one. And the next audience is going to be um, website and it's going to be open house. It's going to be open house leads and it's going to be, but we got to make sure it's specific. We got to put the address. So we're going to hit all website visitors. And then um, go to specific. And then this one, we're going to actually max out the 30. We're going to max out the 30 to 180. 180. So that means that Facebook will, will, will keep people who landed in this audience for, for 180 days. So, um, so the link is going to be the thank you page. So grab the link to the thank you page. Okay, cool. So paste it in there. And um, yeah, take away the other part. Perfect. So just that domain and then um and then give it a name and it's open house leads open house leads and in parentheses the address open house leads and then in parentheses um the address so these are people man just just you know just looking at it you know for for, for just face value of what it is this would be this is going to become an audience of people who actually opted into an open house right so so this audience go to click the blue one create and then and then and then done this is an audience that you can always also show the next ad to the next open house to because even if a ton of people opted into this and landed on the thank you page which is what that audience is leads that open house that listing is only going to one family anyways what about the other 57 people that also opted in right so it's like yeah. that's an audience that i can retarget that i can show another ad to for sure, you know, um, because it's only gonna be, it's only gonna be one person out of that list anyways that got that previous home anyways. So it's like I don't care if they see the the next house; it doesn't matter because they're gonna be in that audience. I don't I don't care if they see the next ad; it's only one person out of you know who knows how many leads can be captured. So those are your two audiences. That it was important first. The pixel, the custom audiences. Now this last part, and then we can run the ad is the custom conversion. So let's let's hit the three lines at the top left and then um, click on events manager. This right here is is the most important. When it comes to when it comes to Facebook ads watch and you have the two tabs open at the top. Click on those two tabs are those the two new ones? Yeah, with the with the refresh this page you just don't have the pixel hopper over here but that's fine. But these are the the pages. Yeah, refresh the other tab, the see you Saturday. Yeah, these are the two pages. Okay, cool. So um so when it comes to a Facebook ad, here's, here's, here's what I want to show you with this. You have the landing page and then you have the thank you page, which is this page. This is a thank you page. What we have to tell Facebook, when they see the ad, they click on learn more, they go to the landing page. 
That's the goal, right? They see the ad, they click learn more, they go to the landing page. That's the goal. But the ultimate goal is to get them here, right? That's the ultimate goal. That's a whole nother setup. So now we're going to come in here and tell Facebook <laughs> the ultimate goal. We're going to give them this link. So copy that link at the top. Um, just, just not the www, just everything else. Just, yeah. So now we're going to tell Facebook our ultimate goal. Because, yeah, we set it up as a custom audience. Yeah, we put a pixel on it. But Facebook doesn't know how important it is to us until we tell them. And that's what we're going to tell them right now. We're going to tell them that in this campaign, this page is the most important. We're running the campaign to specifically get people here. Yes, they got to click learn more to go to the landing page, but the goal is to get them here. We actually tell it to Facebook and we tell it to them by setting, the, setting this next step up. So let's go back to the events manager. And then in the events manager, you're going to hover over the blue triangle to the left and you're going to click on that blue triangle to the very left. Hover over that, click oh, on this one yeah, click the triangle right there um, to the left. Yeah, there you go. The triangle, hover over it. Oh, man, that blue triangle to the left. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. So hover over that, click on custom conversions, custom conversions. Okay, cool. So over here, this is a conversion. Click away, click, click to the right. So over here, this is a custom conversion on the seller guide lead. So we have done all this. We've done all this, but we did it for the seller guide funnel. Um, so now we're doing it for every funnel, right? Every funnel, those, all these things apply pixel custom audiences. And now this custom conversion before you even go run the ad. So now over here, we're going to click the blue button. This seller guide lead, that one that says no recent activity, that's the thank you page for the seller guide funnel. Now, this is this, this is the thank you page for the open house one. So at the top, we're going to name it the same open house. And then, but let's get specific on the name at the top. Open house. Um, open house. Uh, one second, David, put on my contact just quick. No, you're fine. Perfect. So that's yeah, the name. On one second, David. I'm gonna have to no, you're fine. Up. Open house. So right there, that's the name of the custom conversion. So now we're setting up a custom conversion, right? So that's that. And then now scroll down and you're going to click on select your own category, select your own category, and then hit the drop down recommended and go down to lead. So we're going to go down to lead and there it is there. And then paste in that link right there, the thank you page link. Perfect. Actually, let's print, paste it in. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you still have it copied. Paste it. Try to, yeah, there you go. Perfect. And then create. Okay. So that right there, man, pixel freaking, and then hit the go to web configurations. Click on, no, 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 no. Oh, um, we got to go back to what click on, um, click on, click on the three, click on the, um, click on the three lines to the left. Yeah. Let's just go back. We can, it's all good. Click on um, the three lines and then go to events manager. We could do it from over here. So this last part, man, and then, and then, and then you're good. So right here at the bottom, aggregated event measurement, right next to that purple, blue. Yeah, right there. Click on that and then scroll down and then click on the blue one, configure web, web events. And then over here, we're going to click on which one is the one we're using. The Is it the seller, uh, guide? seller guide? Yeah, that one. Click on that one. Okay. And then manage, manage events, edit. And then what you're going to do over here is you're going to add event. So that, that purple, or the green, purple, the green one. Yeah. Click on that one and then hit this drop down and go to custom conversion and then drop down and find that conversion. It's the open house okay. one. Perfect. Okay. There. So submit and you're good, man. So now, yes, I confirm. Uh, uh, Just hit the check the box. Yes, I confirm and then apply. Okay, cool. So now what you want to do real quick is hit okay, click okay. Okay. So now go to um go to the thank you page, but do it on the other browser because that's where you have the pixel helper. Yeah, refresh it right here. And then check that pixel helper. Okay, so there, there's the pixel. It should also be showing the the actual custom conversion that you just set up, but it might take a few minutes. But that's fine. So hit the Go back to the other, go, go to the events manager and click on um, the three lines and go back to events manager, events manager. And then um, let's check the custom conversion. So hover over the blue triangle and then go back to custom conversions. Okay, so that one, okay, perfect, it's active. Okay, cool, it's active. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now time to run the ad. Click the three lines to the left. Uh, three lines to the left. Yeah, go to ads manager. And so is everything okay on the business page, 
pull up the business, leave this here and, and let's let's open up another tab. Go to the go to the business page real quick. Let's look at the ad real quick. So this is what's super important. Okay, perfect. I'm glad we're looking at this. This is super, super important. And when you upload a like the way she did it, for example, I don't know if she did it from her phone or or could it upload the video from the computer or whatever. But one thing you always want to want to do is check the and 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 click on video video um, or edit video or whatever you did video options. I think you clicked on because over here you want to put a video title. This is a simple a little title that goes at the bottom left of that video. So as the ad is running, there's a little call to action in the bottom left of that video. That's video title. So if you don't go into it, the editing, yeah, you would, she would have never seen this part. So yeah, put that, put a video title. So this could be something like um, open house. It could be open house this Saturday and Sunday, and then put the hours. So open house. And you put that in the text of, of the actual post as well, but it could, it could go here. Um, or we can even put something, if that's already in the text, maybe put something, click, let's see, click learn more to, to, to register now, or click learn more to RSVP, or click learn more to, let's, yeah, let's take away that, let's take away that title. Let's make this more, more call to action-y, more, more like urgency. Click learn more to, click learn more to RSVP, or click learn more to register now, or click learn more to for more information or click learn more um, to RSVP. That could work. Click learn more. And the, and, the, and the L and the M is capital on learn more. Click learn more to RSVP. Yeah, that shows at the bottom left of the video. So that could be good. And then click on change thumbnail. Click on change thumbnail to the left, change thumbnail. And over here, and then scroll down, go choose from video. So just, just in case you wanted, because right now I think it shows black. It's just like that. So this is the actual thumbnail. That's a cool thumbnail. Maybe even something of the house would be, would be cool too. But um, yeah, scroll through, see if there's a, a different one. And the reason why this is so important, man, is because none of this can be done once we go set up the ad. So as I take you through the actual setup of the ad, we can't edit any of this after, after that. So that's why this is so important is to edit before we even step back there. So is it coming out this blurry on? No, when it actually when it actually plays, it, it shouldn't be that blurry at all. If that, yeah, if, if it's super clear. But that probably. Yeah, cool. Save. Okay, cool. Save. No big deal. Save. So the text. What do we have in the text? Open house this Saturday, 918 from 1 to PM. Click, click, click learn more below to RSVP. Let's put it up there at the top as well. Click learn more to RSVP. Uh, and, and, and even putting, and, and we won't do this now because I know we're pushed for time, but in the future, like this is stuff we'll work on, you know, catchy text, creating urgency, writing something that's enticing to get that person to click. So all that stuff plays a part, you know, um, so this is more, more, you know, urgency, click, learn more to RSVP. This event will, will be packed. Bring your friends and family or something like that, right? Something a little bit more catchy or hypey. Click, learn more to RSVP. This event will be, you know, I would, I would, I would, you could do it something as simple as that, or you can elaborate on it. You know I mean? uh, to totally up to you. But again, uh, um, leave that as is. click, learn more to RSVP. RSVP, you know, let's, let's leave it as is, but you know what, what I'm trying to say, you know, yeah. like how I'm thinking, like in the future, like this is where you want to spend some time on, um, is, is this is, this is cop ad copy. So yeah, let's just save it. Let's just save it just so we can run it. Um, and then, and then as we move on and, and focus on, on, on the seller guide, that's when we'll focus on getting better at this part. So, but for now we can get this one out. Okay, cool. So it's there, it's on the page, the editing, everything is good. Now let's go freaking run the ad. Now let's go to the ads manager, click the green button. Um, so right there, you already have the tab open at the top, 54. So click on that one. So now whenever you're in here, always make sure you're in the right account, which is the Danielle Reese team. So top that drop down to two. Yeah, that's the right account. So always make sure you're, you're, you're creating the ad through that account. So click the green one, create. And then now over here, we're going conversions. 
we're going conversions and then we're going to just hit the drop down and let's just title everything now so this is just simply titling the three tabs so the campaign is always is always what it is open house video open house video and then put the address and then in parentheses conversions in parentheses is the objective of what you're running which is at the top conversions so and then and then the ad set would be either the ad set title would be yeah that's perfect the ad set title would be would be the the location of where you're targeting so you're either targeting the city or the town or the borough whatever you guys call it out there or 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 you can put the address the address and we can we can target around the actual address so that's why I tend to name the ad set. I'll name it maybe whatever I'm targeting, wherever I'm targeting, and maybe even the budget. So right there in the ad set, put in the city, oh, put in the town, no. put, in the, put in the address, put in, this Wait. is normally what I'm targeting, title it. So no, no, leave that, just give it a title. So ad set. So again, I'll either target the city or the borough or, 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 or I'll target the address, white plains, perfect. And then, and then dash, either 10 bucks a day, 15 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day, whatever the budget is. Um, How much is it that way? Well, $10 a day is, is minimum. Like that's absolute minimum. But a budget really just determines or dictates how many people actually see it. To get like a good amount of views, like how much would you recommend? Views is not what we're going for. We're actually going uh, for leads. I guess. But, but, but yeah, man, if you think about leads, like, cost per lead you know that's that's how you kind of want to start looking at this is 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 what can we afford to to spend per lead that that's another whole another conversation we'll talk about that later but here you'll go at least for sure minimum 10 bucks a day like that that's what you'll you'll at least start with and and that's super low but but you can start there for sure um and then and then as we move on to conversion ads for seller guide leads we'll, we'll increase that and we'll think of some number but add the third one, the ad title, do it the same as the top, same as the top. That's fine. Same as the top open house video to Bryant. Yeah. Copy that same at the top. And then we'll click continue. Perfect. Because these open house ads and even listing ads, actually really open house ads are really one-time ads, man. They're not really ads. You're going to run all the time at all, at all, at all, because most properties don't even stay on the market that long. So it's not even worth it sometimes to run the ad. What I want to help you guys run is that seller guide ad or buyer guide ad because that keeps the pipeline full throughout the month. These open houses, I mean, that's a one-time thing. So um, you won't have to spend as much on these ones. So here we're now on, it's really still part of the first step. Just scroll down. You're going to go special ad category and housing. So always hit the drop down of special ad category uh, and then housing. You'll always do housing. Hit next. That's it. That's step one. That's the campaign. So in there, we chose conversions, we named each title, and that's it. And then we chose housing. So over here, the second step. Now, as you can see right here, you got the pixel, and then you have the conversion event. So it's right here on step two, where I'm telling Facebook the most important page. Yes, the goal is to get them to click learn more and go to the landing page. But the ultimate freaking goal is to get them to that thank you page. There's that thank you page. That's the conversion event. That's what we just set up, the custom conversion. So Facebook knows the most important page in this entire funnel. So scroll down. So that's good. We're good there. We're good there. Now budget. This is where we'll go. Daily budget, 10 bucks. So daily budget, 10 bucks. And then um, that, and then, and then start date is always the next day. We'll always go next day, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. next day. And then that open house is what? Is this? Is this Saturday or this Sunday? Saturday. Okay, so it's Saturday. Why don't you run it until until? See, that's only three days, man. I would, I would, I would up that budget, man. I would up that budget for sure. How much you think? I would, since you're only going to run it for a few days, man. I would up it to twenty bucks a day. Like I, sixty bucks on the damn ad. That ain't nothing. Like, and at the same time, like a person can't even expect to capture a shitload of leads off of real estate leads off of sixty bucks. Like shit, I wish sixty bucks we can get freaking a hundred leads off of 60 bucks. Who the, you know, who wouldn't do that? But over here, like, yeah, it's still, it's still cost per lead. Like we got to still kind of put it up there. So daily, let's go 20. Let's run it for, for three days and let's go. The 18th is what? 18th is Saturday. 
it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Why don't you run until 18 till till nighttime? Why don't you go till 6 p.m.? Or 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 even what time is it at? It's at what time's open house? One to three. One to three? Run until six. Run until six p.m. Perfect. And then scroll down. So we'll leave, we'll leave that. We're good there. We're good there. We're good there. Custom audiences, we don't need anything there. The locations. Take out the United States and you're gonna put in um in in white plains. Perfect. And then X that out, X out the United States and just put in um hit the drop down people living in let's go people and here here sometimes you can kind of sometimes it's up to you to make this 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 decision right here because each one is different people living in in or recently in this location people living in this location people recently in right we don't want to, we don't want people traveling but but people living in it'll either be that one or maybe even people recently in yeah, um, because people if people are traveling from traveling from town to town or from borough to borough Right. They could probably live in that area, but they're traveling for work or whatever. Right. So we can go with that one. Um, and then locations, go ahead and type it in, search locations, type in white plains. And then um, always hit the drop down. When you're typing something in, always go with the drop down and, wow. and keep typing until that drop down shows, you know, um, perfect right there. And you can go 50 miles, you can go up to 50, but, but it's up to you. Um, the whole objective here is to brand you guys in one freaking area. And so you guys pick the radius. It's and, and it starts now, really. It starts now. It starts now. We should really determine what mileage because we don't want to do one ad 15 miles, another ad 25 miles. Like we want to make sure we brand either 15 or 25 or one or the other. You know what I mean? So just make a note, 15, that's that's far, right? 15 miles. I think 15 is good enough. That's yeah. good, right? So every ad from this point on, make a mental note or, or a note or whatever. Every ad is going to be 15 miles from White Plains. That's your market. Okay, so scroll down. We're good there. We don't need any age. We don't need any gender. We're going to leave it, the detail targeting wide open. We're going to just target everyone. Languages, you can narrow that down if you want. Um, you can go to you can go to English. You can edit languages and, and maybe only target English. Um that tends uh, to help. No, not right there. Scroll down, 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 down languages. So you can edit languages um, if, you, if you want. Um, and then just hit the drop down. English, English all. Actually, you'll go English all. English all. Because that, that applies to every everything. Anyone that speaks English. Perfect. And we're good there. We're going to leave it on automatic placement. We're good. So now hit next. And we're on the third and final step. And we'll be done in two minutes. So now... Go ahead and connect the Instagram where the red triangle is. Hit the drop down. Connect the IG. I don't think it's going to run on IG, but it's there just just in case. And then right there, ad setup. You're going to click on create ad, and we're going to go with use existing post. And then all you're going to do is you're going to select post, look for that recent one. Yeah, it's that top one. Perfect. And then continue. Okay, cool. And then you're going to add button. So scroll down. This is where we now tell Facebook about the landing page. So when they click learn more, they're going where, right? The landing page. So grab that link. No, that's the thank you page. That's the, that's the thank oh. you page. So grab this one. This is the thank you page. And you can copy all of it. Yeah, the whole thing. HTTPS. Yeah, perfect. And you can just paste it in. So when they click learn more, they're going straight there. And we're going to update the post. And that is it, man. Scroll down. We're going to make sure... Yeah, that's all. That's all fine. Don't worry about the yellow triangle notification. We already set that up. We're good there. Um, yeah, we're good. So hit hit publish, and that's it, man. We're 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 done. So Facebook will end up sending you guys an email within a couple hours. Um, once it approves, it it's going to approve no matter what. But the email will be it'll, it'll be titled "Your ad is scheduled or running." Your ad is scheduled or running. That's an email you'll get from Facebook, and then it'll go live tomorrow. And then just. Hey. Now, now here's what you want to do real quick as well. Sometimes, sometimes as you go and publish, it freezes like this. This has happened multiple times now with me when I'm on a call with a client. It freezes. That publishing one of three, the blue, it should have been publishing three of three, and it should have turned green. That's when it fully, fully accepts the 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 ad, or not 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 approves, but just accepts it for a review, right? So right here, it's stuck. So we have to unstuck it. We have to unstick it or whatever. So let's do this. Open up a new tab. X out of this one. Yeah, open up open up a new tab. Yeah, yeah, open up a new. Go back to the business manager. Um, I'll go back to this one. What you can do from here is to the very, very left. Very, very, very left. Click on her profile. Hover. No, don't click. Don't click. Don't click. Hover over it and right click. Just right click. 
and then open image in new or open link in new tab. Can you open in a new? Uh, Just copy uh, the whole damn link at the top in the in the uh, URL. That yeah, copy the whole damn thing. Copy it, open up in a new tab. Yeah, paste it in right here. So when it sticks like that, when it gets stuck, yeah, yeah, right here, perfect. When it gets stuck, like the other one is stuck at twenty five percent. What you're gonna do is open up a new tab, come back to it, X this part out in the middle, top middle, X it out. No, not no, 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 not that. No, no, cancel. On a new tab, on this other tab. This one's stuck. We're going in the new tab. Yeah, right here. So <laughs> X this part out um, in the middle. No, 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 to the middle. This one? Up, up that X, X this part out. Yeah. So now what we did, close, close, just close. Now what we did is we we, we <laughs> opened up a new tab, right? We opened up a new tab. Now what's stuck is actually in that blue button. So in the top right, that blue button, that's what's stuck. Review and publish. Click that. Okay. So now you're from here. You're going to publish. That's what's stuck are those three tabs. So now it publishes three or three. It turns green. Close out Got the it. other tab, and now you're good. Okay. Now you're good. And we've already set up our custom audience, which was super important. Oh, you know what? Super, super important as well. Last one, last one. This takes one second. Go back three, three lines. This is the habit. And th I'm recording this video. There's a lot of details in this video, man. So um, this is all that just applies every, for every new funnel. Once you do it for one funnel, you're good. So you'll never have to do it for this funnel again, but as you create more, yeah, that's these basic steps. So let's go to um, go to audiences. We set up two custom audiences around the landing page and the and the thank you page. What you're always, always going to want to get in the habit of is creating an audience around the video, right? So if it's a video, for sure, custom audience, always, for sure, for sure. Even if you're not going to run an ad on it, if a video goes up on, on her page, custom audience right away, right away. So click the blue one to the left, create audience and go custom audience. And we're going to do video this time. So we'll do custom audience, custom audience, and then go video and then next, and then simply um, hit the drop down at the top. And we're going to go, we're, we can either go 15 seconds or, or 25%. Let's, let's go on the other one. We went 25%. Let's go 25%. We'll keep them at 25% because the other one, if you can see in the background, the HGTV, we did 25%. So now click choose videos to the right, choose videos wow. top. Yeah. And then just choose that video. Um, hit the drop down the Facebook page, go to the other, other page to the right. Yeah. Hit that one. And then go to the, that, that top one. Perfect. And then we'll just find that video. Click learn more. Yeah. It's that one. Check the box and then confirm. And then we'll just give it a name, audience name. And this is open house, open house, video ad, open house, video ad, and maybe put, um, the address open house, video ad, and then, and then the address and then in parentheses, 25%. And that's it, bro. We're done. All right. Go. Okay, okay. So create audience, let that bad boy run. And then, and then what we do need to get, get in rotation is the seller guide funnel is a seller guide ad. I should say that's what, that's what we should be working on is making sure that the seller guide funnel is, is fully ready to go. Cause that's an ad that, that you want to be running daily, which is every month, you know, daily, this one, you're running a, a here and there for a few days, open house, a listing, run it for a few days until, until it's under contract. But a seller guide funnel, you can run that shit daily and, and you can oh. capture leads all month. So that's that's what we should focus on our next call is making sure that whole entire email sequence is done, making sure the pages are done, and then and then working on working on weekly video ads for the seller guide. Maybe weekly video ads of Danielle giving some type of seller tip. And then at the end of that video, hey guys, and by the way, we put together a seller guide you guys are not going to want to miss out on. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to our page where you can download your free copy. That becomes a 60 second commercial. And that's one, one a week. You want to get in the habit of one a week, focusing on that again, open house listing. This, these are one-off ads where, where your focus should really be is a weekly video on, on sellers, on educating people on what it takes to sell. And then, and then having that call to action to click, learn more, to download, to go to the page, to download seller guide. That's oh, where, yeah. that's where it's all at. Uh, so do you want to set something up like Friday, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Shoot me an email or just go back to my link if you can. All right. And then in this it from there. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right, All right boss. I appreciate it, man. Talk to you guys. Right, let, this, you let this one run and, and we'll chat soon. All right. Okay, buddy. Bye-bye.